Good morning everyone, hope you're doing well, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, hope you're having a lovely day. It feels like a long time since I said that, but it was only yesterday, I can't remember if I said it yesterday. That's how bad my memory is. <laughs> my train is about to arrive, so let's all hop on the train and start the day. <laughs> Doesn't that sound good? I'm just speaking like an idiot. Let's just get on the train. The day's begun, the day is new, the day is cold. And let's seize the day. <laughs> That's a saying or something. Because, because there's nothing else to do while she's doing stuff that I can't really help with, I'm going to be starting the bolognese. Because the bolognese just can sit and get better with time over the evening because it can sit and all the flavours can mix. So I thought it would be a good time. It's only, it's only five o'clock, but I thought it would be a good time just to get started and then by the time we eat, it's perfect. It would be a perfect flavour mix of flavours or something. What time do you guys eat? Because I we eat like between eight and nine. We eat quite late. Um, to s compared to most people, I know some people eat five on the dot or six, um, which to me is just a bit early, but I guess, I guess I'm just used to that. I mean, I had an early lunch. I ate at like 12 on the dot today, to be perfectly honest, but I'll still be okay until eight, which is probably a bit strange. I did just have a mince pie and a cup of tea, so that's probably going to tide me over. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to chop up some onions, get the bolognese on the go. Hello, Hello. 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 To replace our busted one, which I was talking about yesterday in yesterday's vlog. Um, but yeah, we've had, we've had the bolognese that I cooked. I've made up some oxalic acid, which is for beekeeping stuff. Basically, a chemical within the food which the bees eat, and then it's good for their digestive system, but also treats for varroa, which is something you've got to keep an eye on as you go into winter. So I've done that. Um, but also, oh, something I didn't mention earlier. I've got I got a quick clip of it on my phone because it was so fast. But essentially, at my university, I was, I, like I said, I need to use their internet to upload my vlogs. And so I had this 37 minute vlog, and so I sat down in the library in the afternoon, ready to, you know, wait, ar wait around for a while, because I knew it would take a long time. Because it does, when I upload here, it would take about an hour. Um, but my laptop isn't great at the moment for, like, connected to internet. I, I use a little dongle, because the um, Wi-Fi card is pretty poor within it, it's damaged. Um, and so my laptop couldn't find the internet, it wouldn't upload, every time I clicked upload there was an error. So I took my hard drive which I had my video on, went to one of the uni computers, logged in, start to upload it. And a 37 minute video got uploaded in less than two minutes. It, it was... It shocked I know internet like that exists, I've never ever used it or seen it. So 37 minutes worth of footage, decent quality, went up in less than two minutes. And that's on top of everyone in the library, which is, it's a pretty big library at my university, all using the internet at the same time. So the bandwidth is massive, and it was able to do that with that sort of speed. Plus, upload speed is always slower than download speed, which means that is some serious, serious kind of internet they've got going there, which, I mean, makes sense for university, but still, blew my mind. Um, and yeah, it wasn't, it was so fast that I just got my phone out and said, because I knew I couldn't have time to get my camera out of my bag and film it. <laughs> So there's an exciting bit of technology news or experience that you can uh, share with your friends and family. Interesting content, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, the couple of days that I'm going to be at uni for the rest of the week isn't going to be as exciting as going to Horsham, so buckle in for some normal, mundane vlogs of my life. <laughs> Amazing. But in terms of university stuff, I'm progressing towards my pilot study. Did a small experiment today to make sure my cages work with a bee, which was fun. Um, and then hopefully on Monday I'll be able to start my actual full-on pilot study. But seeing as there's no internet still uh, in the house, I'm probably just going to end the vlog here. That's way too bright. 
Um, get my PJs, have a cup of tea maybe, and go to bed because there's nothing much to do other than rest and sleep. <laughs> so if you're enjoying the vlogs, leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe as usual. Hope you all have a lovely day, and I will see you in the morning. God, my forehead is very shiny, isn't it? See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome to a very cold one degree morning, but it's a blue sky, so I don't care. I found this winter in particular, maybe because it's because I'm out in the country every day as opposed to going to central every day, I'm not minding the winter so much. It could be because it's brighter, like there's blue skies like this, or like I said, just not having to be in a grey central London setting, being blocked, having the sun blocked by tall grey buildings. It's just making it far more bearable to come out every day in the morning into the cold, chilly air. But, I mean, there's plenty of studies about how green and natural environments are way better for humans than grey urban ones, but could be anything, could be anything at all. Could be my studies, who knows. But today is gonna be a day in the lab, drilling holes in little tubes. I need to do about 800 holes. So that's gonna be an amazingly, amazingly entertaining day for you. So I'll uh, try to keep it spicy, try to keep it fresh, and I hope you enjoy the day. So let's go and get started. Done 200, <coughs> 200 tubes. Sorry, I haven't spoken in since I got in here. Uh, yeah, 200 tubes that look like this. That have each got four holes in it. Which means I drilled. Uh, wait, did I say 400? 200. I've done 200 tubes, each with four holes, which is a total of 800 holes. I got in here at half past ten. It's about 20 past two now. I've been for a wee, and that's the only time I left the room. So I've been in this really cold room for nearly four hours, which is. Uh, Nuts. So now I'm going to go put all this stuff away back in the lab. Oh, I actually showed my pile. Ta-da! There's my big pile of bloody tubes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go put that away in the lab, and then I'm going to get some food, and then probably go to the library and just hang out in somewhere warm, because there's no heating in here. It's really cold. Had to be in this coat the whole time I've been in here. Anyway, whew, all done. Let's go. vlogging once more. I'm sure we all love this section of the vlog. Uh, we've been at the pub, we, I have been at the pub, with my lab meeting to celebrate a member of our lab group having a paper published, which is really cool, really exciting. Uh, we went to one pub, but it was really busy. Uh, I think somebody, they'd been like a Christmas meal booked, so like half the pub was booked out, so we couldn't sit there for very long, so we had one drink, because that's where we organised to meet. And then we headed to another pub nearby, had another drink, and then everybody else ordered food. Uh, and then after, yeah, it was a total of two hours was there, I left, because I've got food at home. But it is, oh, it's cold. Even walking between the pubs, I was freezing. Just walked past the duck pond and it's frozen over. So it was that sort of temperature, probably one or zero degrees. More wrapped up, got my gloves on, but oh my God, it's cold. Really, really looking forward to having something warm to eat. And also to go to the toilet, because a little bit too much information, we need a wee. So I'm gonna go now, have a wee, and hopefully eat some delicious warming food. Oh gosh. Hey, put chair. Don't show them the room. You're smiling. You're smiling. You are smiling a bit, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. 